Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over um, the third album from DMAs. They are an Australian or Sydney Australian uh, trio band from Sydney. Um, so, in their album called Glow. So, I actually just stumbled upon them. I didn't really have like a whole like history with them or anything. I just, I, who was I, who was I going, oh, I think it was another Sticky Fingers kind of direction. I was going down Sticky Fingers, Sticky, Sticky, blah, 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 Sticky Fingers, um, road and rabbit hole that was taking me all over the place and taking not all over the place but very similar directions and i came across these guys and they had a song called life is a changing a game of changing and i immediately loved it i thought it was so i thought i production was amazing i loved his voice and i had to get into the love and i it's one of those things where just like I, you've seen it i think you've if you look closely you've probably seen um, and some of my other videos that I usually, sometimes I will just, like, randomly choose a random band that I did, just because I have a, like, a whim, a feeling of a whim on it. So I was like, I'm just gonna listen to the album, review it, and hopefully this will open my mind up to want to go backwards to their old out al their older albums and get into more of that, and so I can be an official fan. So, but this definitely has worked. I'm, it's... The album is really, really nice, and I love the sound. It kind of gives me a 90s sound. Like, I feel like they're doing 90s kind of rock, and at the same time, giving you still modern sound today. Um, I really do. I do like this album. I love... Uh, let me go down some of the songs I really liked. So, um, the first song I really like is Silver. Love Silver. I think it's so nice. I love the sound. I love the idea of the whole thing. It's because I feel like it, what it's saying is that so he's so couple, some of, some of the um, lyrics go like this. So do you ring like silver in my wasted light? That one. And then it's funny that I think of you right now, knowing that the years that are that the years that turned are turned to clouds. Um, and then another one, which are, so there's that. So I feel like what he's saying, what this band is saying in this song, is that when he says, "Do you, did you ring like silver in my wasted wasting light? And I feel like what, I feel like wasting light means that he wasn't really, it was a, he shined a light on her that wasn't really that great. It wasn't really that amazing. He wasn't really giving, it was a waste of a light, you know, but through it, she still shines and still is like herself throughout the whole time. And he asks, like, is that true? And then another part when it says, it's funny that I think about you now, right now, knowing that the years uh, turn to clouds. So that piece made me think that maybe it has to do with the fact that they didn't have a good relationship. So maybe later on, so this made me just reminiscing about stuff that's going on. Um, I can't tell if they're together still or not together. That's the thing about this album I had an issue with, is that there was no... I couldn't find a definition of what these each song meant. It usually does happen on um, Genius, which is an app, but I felt like I couldn't really find it anywhere, so I had to kind of guess what I think it's about. Um, one thing that I did point, I did like was, um, uh, another lyric when he says, how do I define all my love for you? Um, I guess I'll look at the sun with you. And I think when he, I think that part kind of switched it around and made me think that maybe they are still together because it makes it seem like they, because they're saying, he's like, he obviously has a lot of, or redefined, so maybe he has to redefine his love towards her, um, I guess how to prove that he still loves her or how to give this this love to this person that he kind of even though their relationship fucked up in the beginning or the first time maybe they got back together again um i guess i'll look at the sun with you she's always i guess maybe she's looking at the bright side of things or she's always looking forward she's always looking forward and so she's he's like maybe i need to do that too that's my guess um <laughs> all that for one song anyway so the next song that i really like which is my favorite song life is a game of changing. Um, love the production. It almost reminds me of the song um, I Promised Myself, which I don't remember the actual band, but the da, 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 is the same. It's the same type of melody that you get from that same song. Which, but I love what they did to it. It just 
took you to the complete world, different world. It's very spacey. It's very like dreamy in a way. Like I just, I just love it. It feels like this. This is production just takes you away. And I love that. One of the song, one of the parts he says is like, "All I want you to see is here and now." Um, my guess is that she is still recovering over the relationship. Um, but life changes, so maybe things change after a while. I don't know. I still don't understand the song directly, but I fucking love it. Um, Criminals is the next song I really like. Um, this song is about, is actually, actually way more self-explanatory. Um, and the lyrics I put down is that, so I feel like the song is about her, um, him saying that you could leave whenever you want. Like, you do not have to be here. And one of the things he says, one of the, Quotes he says is, I don't need you, you don't need me to figure out where you want to be. So it's saying, it's like, I don't need to tell you where you want to be. You don't need me, you don't, I don't need you to tell me where, I don't need me to tell, I don't need to tell you where to be, you don't need to tell me where you need to be. Like, just be, you know, I guess. And then one of the things he says, you can go, you can be any, you can be anyone, you can be, you can be anyone now, you can be anywhere else, but um, but here, um, and I think, or, but with me, I think, I put me, I felt like it should have been here, but anyways, he pretty much says, it's just like, you can be yourself now, you can be who you truly wanted to be, and you don't have to, on top of that, you don't have to be with me to do that either, you know, and I feel like that's what, he's kind of giving her that space, that freedom to choose, to choose to be with him, not not forcing him to be, not forcing her to be with him, you know? Um, and it's, and he's, but he says on the other, on the side of that, he's like, do you need a partner? Which is saying that, do you need, but if you do need me, if you do want to, if you do need a partner and I could be the one, I would love to be, you know? But I think he's also giving her the freedom of choice. Um, Learning Alive is another one I really like. Um, this one's very interesting. I had to break it down a bit. What I got from it was that he is trying to open up more. He wants to hold on to this, like, to, to their relationship, I guess. So it says, um, never been so scared to be open in the first verse. In the second verse, he says broken. Um, knock down walls through... Um, knock down walls through to more emptiness. So I think he's, I think they're still trying to find where they're knocking down walls to nothing. So obviously they thought they were knocking down walls for results, but it ends up being another obstacle ahead. So, and he says, I just want to hold this, hold it together. How can I tell you it's, we're getting better with time. I'm on your side. So he ends it with saying, I'm on your side, no matter what. And I think that what he's saying is that, I'm still trying to make this work. I'm still trying to help, but I don't know how to tell you that we can get better in time without kind of, I guess, physically proving it. Um, but he's repeats that he's on his, he's on her side and he's always has been scared to open up. He's always been scared of being broken. So he didn't want to, he doesn't, he's scared to open up, but he's also scared of the relationship ending kind of thing. Um, being broken after a relationship or be, having his heart broken. And so I think that he's saying this, that he's, it obviously shows that he's looking for change in this direction. Um, another one I really like is Appointment, which is, I feel like this has to do with one person, but, but I feel like this song is talking about how he can wait forever for her, even though she says it's over. In the end, he says that. Like, she says it's over, but he still, he says, and if it even matters, you told me that it's over, but I can wait for hours because you're not for every, not for anyone, but forever. And I think what he's saying is that is, you're not, you're worth the wait. No matter, no matter if you say we're done, I still believe that we have some chemistry. I still believe there's something else going on between us that, that we can definitely reconcile with this. And I think that, um, that's what he's saying. So he's like, I will wait, for, I can wait. I can wait for your time to get back to where you want to be with me again or whatever. I, I don't, he calls it, it's called appointment. So it's like in the appointments you're waiting for a while. Um, but he can wait. Um, he has the patience for it. Um, the last song, Cobra Kane, which is a song that I thought was very familiar. <laughs> he was like, wait a minute, Kane is spelled C-A-I-N-E, and that's obviously a nod to cocaine, which makes me think that maybe it's about drugs, because he says, wasted kids so dead inside, which mean, which could be the fact that he's like, 
we take these drugs because we feel dead inside and it's just like no matter what it does no matter what this cocaine does it just it's just temporary every t single time um um asinine to your own rhythms which is like i guess he doesn't really i guess they're not taking in oh okay hearing that out loud now saying this i think it could be more about cocaine too because that is um, asinine to your own rhythm. So you don't even know your habits are just ongoing. You're just, these foolish habits that you're doing is completely, is just useless. And you don't even notice it. You completely don't even see it. Um, take your own grime in your, take your own grime in your own eye. I'm sure that you'll find that, that the last laugh will be mine. I don't understand that piece. It sounds a bit kind of revengeful. Um, but I guess in the end, he's saying that it needs to be, like, that in the end, you're only hurting yourself, and the person on the opposite side, maybe he doesn't do the drugs, and maybe she does, or they, this other person does, and he's like, in the end, I'm going to be the one that's laughing, because it's one of those things I knew this thing wouldn't go well. Um, fun fact, so the Cobra Cane actually is an actual real per place. It's a furniture place in, um, well, it's in Victoria, Australia. It's a, it's in the Melbourne direction. It's more in uh, Collingwood. But, so I got a little confused. I was like, wait a minute, are we talking about a furniture store? So, but it's not. I'm assuming it's not. Maybe it's just play on words. But all in all, I think I like this album. I know where it's going. I feel like I know where it's going. This is, this album was helped produced by um, Stuart Price, who did do, who's, do, produced for Dua Lipa, The Killers, um, Pet Shop Boys. So they, he definitely has a lot of good stuff under his belt. So this is already going somewhere already. And I love it. I love the sound. It. I feel like the sound of this album takes you so completely to different other place. And I love that. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. If you liked it, didn't like it, tell me below. Tell me, let me know. Um, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and a notification button so you can get more videos of mine. Um, I give this album a 8 out of 10. Um, it's really good. I like it. I can't wait to look at the, uh, the um, For Now album came out in 2018, and the Hill and the Hill and Hill's End came out in 2016. Can't wait to look at those. So, I'll, if anything, I might even re like review those too. Um, anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.